With Galway firmly rooted to the bottom, Drogheda's place in the Premier Division is looking more secure. On Friday, they're away to Bray. Dave Kelly has this report. Just two minutes into the game, the first talking point. Matt Gregg penalised for handling the ball just outside the area, but no caution for the Bray goalkeeper. An early free kick for Drogheda in a good position. Gavin Brennan wasn't too far wide. The header from Dean Massey was meant for Gregg, but it didn't quite have the pace. Dinny Corcoran unable to take full advantage. Drogheda continued to look the more likely as the half progressed. After a good exchange of passes, Dinny Corcoran crossed. Adam Mitchell did well to hook the ball away. The shot from Mark O'Brien struck Matt Gregg in the face, and Peter McMahon miscued the follow-up. Some anxious moments on the Bray bench. The home side did create a half chance for Gary Dempsey. Dean Zambra picked out the skipper. Stephen Trimble made a comfortable save. Drogheda took the lead just before the half-time break. The ball forward came from Alan McNally. The header back from Tiernan Mulvena. And the finish from Dinny Corcoran. Into the second half, and Dean Massey's intervention prevented what surely would have been a second Drogheda goal. With two Drogheda players closing in, the touch from Massey saw the ball deflect off Mark O'Brien and over the bar. Nine minutes from time, Drogheda's lead was doubled. A free kick was awarded, but a combination of Sean Houston and Adam Mitchell took down Gavin Brennan. Some organising to do from Matt Gregg. Lee Lynch took the free kick and the ball eventually found its way to Philip Hand. His brilliant left foot strike, too good for the Bray keeper. Bray substitute Graham Kelly set up Jake Kelly soon after. Draw to keeper Stephen Trimble did well to save. In the final minute of the game, Bray Wanderers did manage to pull a goal back. Dan McGuinness meeting the cross from Dean Zambra. But that was as good as it got for Bray. 2-1 to Drogheda is how it finished. A 10th league defeat of the season for Bray, which now matches the number of wins for Drogheda. Only a fifth league win of the campaign. Let's be fair, Drogheda deserved a much better team. Mick has done a great job. He's brought in a lot of new faces. We haven't even brought in one. And uh, that's the difference. They were fresh, a great desire to win the game, a lot of urgency about them, and uh, they took their chances. We were we were off. We were we were poor. That's the poorest we've been. But I wouldn't want to take anything away from Drogheda. They fully deserved to win. Oh, I felt we were the better team on the night. I think my plan worked. But we wanted to keep the ball and frustrate them. I thought we kept it very well over the 90 minutes. Unfortunately, we conceded the goal in injury time to give us the old collie wobbles again, but I'm glad to get the three points.